India's latest beyond visual range air to air missile Astra Mk 2 is all set to move out of the drawing board as the Defence Research and Development Organisation is likely to conduct its first developmental trial this week. Defence sources said the indigenously developed missile will be flight tested from a ground launcher being set up at Launching Complex 3 of Integrated Test Range of Odisha Coast on Thursday. The initial trials of the successor of Astra MKI will be to test the weapon system's ballistic performance. Once the safe release of the missile from the ground launcher and its propulsion and navigation are validated, it would be test fired from a fighter aircraft. While the previous version of Astra missile has a range of about 110 km, its advanced variant can strike targets 160 km away. Equipped with improved jammer resistance and dual pulse motor having thrust vector control, the Astra Mk2 is latest among the air to air missiles of its class. The DRDO has developed an indigenous seeker to improve the performance of the missile and replace the Russian radio frequency seeker used in the Astra Mk1. Once concluded, the disengagement at Pangong Tso will work well for India as it means vacation of the most prickly part of Chinese intrusions, along the line of actual control that defeat resolution during the long military standoff, since May last year. India was giving up hard-won tactical gains of control of the heights, along the south bank of the lake were misplaced as the Chinese were now removing the considerable infrastructure, including a helipad, they had set up in the finger area. The Indian positions on the strategic heights, on the south bank had nullified the Chinese positions, and were a key factor in the PLA agreeing to withdraw from the area. The Indian presence on heights is clearly a change in status quo, that would need to be wound down as part of any agreed withdrawal. It was being ensured that PLA troops are well east of finger 8. The Mazagao Dock Limited on Monday, delivered the third Scorpion-class submarine to the Navy after two years of sea trials. The submarine was launched in January 2018 for sea trials and will be commissioned as INS Kurunj. INS Kurunj is India's third of the six Scorpion-class submarines with superior stealth and combat capabilities. The diesel-electric attack submarine has been built under MDL's Project 75, in collaboration with a French firm. Scorpion submarines can undertake multifarious missions, like anti-surface and anti-submarine warfare, as well as intelligence gathering, mine laying, area surveillance. The state-of-the-art technology utilized for the construction, of Scorpion class submarines has ensured superior stealth features, such as advanced acoustic silencing techniques, low radiated noise levels, hydrodynamically optimized shape, and the ability to launch an attack on the enemy using precision guided weapons. The attack can be mounted with both torpedoes and tube launched anti ship missiles, at the same time, as underwater or on the surface.